Hi guys, I hope you all are doing great. It's 22nd of February 2024 and is our time for wait for today and except from UCB Ireland. Okay, it's a girl here, Anita Brown. And what is our topic today? Our topic says, don't doubt God. And our reading is taken from the book of John chapter 20, verse 25. And I read from my Bible. It says, the other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the prints of his nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and trust my hand into his side, I will not believe. Chai, Dalton Thomas. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. John writes, Thomas, nicknamed the twin was not with the others when Jesus came. They told him, we have seen the Lord. But he replied, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands. Put my finger into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again. Hmm. And this time, Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here. Jesus opened his palms. Remember that story? And look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe, my Lord and my God, Thomas exclaimed. So he shouted. Seeing now is believing. Jesus picked a doubter to be his disciple. And when he doubted, Jesus didn't denounce and dismiss him. He actually put in a special appearance to resolve his doubts and build his faith. Elizabeth Elliot said, True faith only goes into oppression when there are no answers. God says, My thoughts are not your thoughts. Isaiah 55. Verse 8. The truth is, God doesn't think like us. He sees the big picture and he walks towards a specific end. Jesus said, I have many more things to say, but there are too much for you now. John 16, verse 12. So when you find yourself doubting, pray. Lord, believing isn't easy when I'm hot and confused and you are silent, like Thomas. I want proof that you love me. Help me to see beyond my desire for peace and comfort, beyond my doubts and unanswered questions, and to grasp the truth of your unfailing love and grace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't doubt God. Praise the Lord. Don't say, I won't believe until I see it. God wanted to try from us. You know, God does not think like a human being. If we are to be like Jesus, immediately Thomas doubted that Jesus is not here. What would you do? What did Jesus do? Jesus took his doubt and turned it into faith for him to believe him. If it were to be a human, immediately he said, oh, that's not Jesus. Jesus, Jesus didn't you know, raise up from the dead. If you are here and he's saying nothing about you. What would you do? Once you come as a human, you say, oh yeah, get out. Get out for you doubting that I'm not Jesus. You know, I'm, I'm going to disown you. I'm going to disband you. You're not going to be among my disciples again. But that's not how Jesus treated Thomas. That shows that he is different from us. Praise the Lord. He gave him a second chance. And he wanted Thomas to do what? Act with faith. Even though he didn't see it. But let him believe. That's one thing God is teaching us. So, when you find yourself doubting, what you do. You pray. And once you pray, you're going to feel this peace within you to believe in God, to believe in whatever you're praying for, for the answers are right here with you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we, we also learned that God likes to use the doubters to prove and to change lives. Okay. If you don't believe, he will use you and make you believe that he is alive. So have faith in God, no matter what you're going through in life. Believe that 
no matter the distance or no matter the time, everything will be all right. Even though you feel that you've not seen God or you're not seeing God, but you can feel his presence once you have faith. So don't be a doubting Thomas, okay? Just like Thomas did until he saw the nail piercing and he believed that Jesus actually raised from the dead. He didn't even believe his fellow disciples. He said, no, I want to see until I believe. Me, I don't want to see. How many am I going to see? And not to believe. So my own is that let me believe, even if I didn't see, I will have my faith and my faith will work for me. And I pray the same for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, we learned that you give more rather than taking more. So you do more and you get more. Have faith so that you have more. And that is it for today for us, okay? I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Island. And we are also reading the Bible for this year. Kindly refer back to my previous video. Just down the description, you're going to see all the chapters we've read. And for today, we are reading Leviticus chapter 17, chapter 18, Matthew chapter 27, from verse 27 to 50. Thank you again for listening. And God bless you. I love you, but God loves you most. See you. Bye. And make sure to share this video so it touches its soul.